Welcome back to The Band Guide, I'm your band guy, Colin, and today I want to show you a couple different ways to address the dreaded guitar hum. Now, this video is going to be specific to after you've already recorded it and you've done everything you could in the recording process to try to minimize the hum. There's likely going to be a little bit of hum in a lot of electric guitar recordings, but you should do everything you can to minimize it in terms of cables that might be a little bit extra buzzy, making sure you don't have any sort of ground loop if you're using a pedal board or an amp or anything like that, just reducing it at that stage first but then once you get to the actual mixing process, if it's still just a little bit annoying, a little bit too prominent, there's a couple things we can do to try to address it. But before we even do that, the first thing you need to do is assess whether or not you actually need to do anything about it once it's in the context of the full song, of the mix. So first listen to these guitars in solo and notice how there's a fairly prominent buzz or hum with them. Check it out. I mean, not insane, but that's pretty prominent. But when we put it in the context of the mix, tell me what you think. I don't know about you, but I never would have known that those guitars were particularly hummy if it wasn't for hearing them in solo. And no one is ever going to hear your guitars in solo. They're only ever going to hear them in the context of your finished song. So first and foremost, figure out if you need to do anything to address it. Because if you don't, you shouldn't, because anything we do could potentially negatively impact your tone. Okay, in that example, we don't necessarily need to do anything about that guitar tone. But in this other example up here, we definitely need to do something about it. So with these intro guitars here, it's really obvious when they first come in that there's a little bit of hum going on. Check it out in the context of the song. I don't know about you, but that's really obvious and distracting to me, right? It's it's getting in the way of me being able to enjoy the song. I'm like, what is that buzz going on there? That, that feels really unprofessional, right? So the first way that I would address this is not actually to do anything about it, but it's actually just to introduce it to the listener earlier so that when it comes in, it's not so jarring. So here, I just took a little bit of the guitar before it actually started playing, where it was relatively silent, and just introduce it to the listener from the start. Right? And just by letting the listener become familiar with that sound, it's a little less annoying to them because it's not so abrupt, it's not so jarring. So that's the first thing that I would do. And I would do that even if I'm gonna use one of these other tools, unless it somehow miraculously ends up completely eliminating it, but it likely isn't. There's likely still gonna be a little bit of hum and that's okay, guitars are a little bit hummy. Again, think about it in the context of the mix of everything else and is it actually distracting or reducing the listening experience for the listener. So the next thing that you can do is to try to use uh, noise suppression plugin, something like Waves WNS. So this plugin, essentially what it is going to do is listen to and analyze the hum going on and then use some complicated algorithm to reduce it while the guitar is playing. So the way you would set this up is to just play a little bit of the silence or just silent hum. So if we listen to this in solo here, and then I would hit suggest and it would automatically move these faders, adjust these faders to essentially reduce the hum. So if I take this back off, really kind of obvious if I put this on, a lot better. So once you have that on, the big thing you need to pay attention to is how is this impacting my tone? So listen to these guitars here and notice how the tone shifts as soon as I engage this plugin. <laughs> Right? And let's listen to that in the context of the mix really quickly. It sounds a lot better, there's a lot less hum, but all of a sudden the tone of those guitars is a little bit darkened, it loses some of the attack or some of the bite to the guitars. So you'll likely need to use a little bit of EQ after a noise suppression plugin just to reintroduce a little bit of that tone. So you could do this on the same guitar track just after the noise suppression plugin, or in this case I have two of these guitars and they're exactly the same and I have this exact same noise suppression on both, so I'm introducing a little bit of EQ on the bus that's gonna impact both of those guitars a little bit later. 
later. And just listen to how adding this back in brings out a little bit more life in those guitars again. So without this on, and then I'll switch it on. It's subtle, but it definitely helps those guitars just feel a little bit more live in the context of the mix. Okay, so that's the way that I approach hum with my guitars. I try to reduce it as much as I possibly can in the recording phase. And then in the mix, I try to first determine if I need to do anything to address it. Then if I do, the first thing I'll do is introduce a little bit of that hum so that it's not coming in and out really abruptly. And then the second thing I'll do is try something like the W and S by Waves, which is a noise suppression tool. And I'll try to assess the hum and then minimize that within the guitars and then I will use a little bit of EQ to balance out any negative impacts from a noise suppression plugin. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video, I can tell that you're really serious about getting a professional sounding recording, and I wanna give you something to help with that. I put together a six step checklist to a pro mix that just has the six steps that all professional mixes have and how to do them inside GarageBand or Logic or wherever it is that you're making music. It's completely free from the link in the description below. It's really gonna help you out. It's already helped out thousands of people, so be sure to pick it up. And before you go, I'd love to hear from you. How have you addressed, in your previous recordings. Are there any tricks that have been really helpful to you? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week with another video.